is bank funding financing for property investment, property development becoming obsolete or a thing of the past? Hi, this is Stuart Davidson here, QS Consult. Now we help property investors become profitable developers. And please do put comments in the link below or press the like button, share the video if it's something that is useful to you and you feel useful to others. Now I'm sharing a post today which looks at at D DTZ and how their investors are forward funding large development projects. Now what I'm seeing is a move to specialist funding that takes care of or understands the construction process which we're involved in, we're involved in the delivery side. Now with traditional funding, what I'm seeing and hearing more and more from investors and developers is that they organize a bank funding, a development finance, and the development finance banks are very, very risk averse. And sometimes they, they, they feel, it feels like they're so risk averse that they're not uh, really in line or congruent to the problems that are sometimes faced on projects. Throughout the cash flow cycle of a project, there can be variations, there can be unknowns, you know, so there's peaks and troughs and cash, cash flow. And what we're finding, uh, particularly around a monitor a monitoring surveyors representing banks, is that they're very, very uh, sensitive to these and they can reduce the uh, cash drawdown at any time, creating uh, cash flow uh, blockages uh, for, for uh, various times in the project. Now, DTZ are very experienced and they structure uh, they structure finance in such a way they can deal with those peaks and troughs because they know what construction is like. You know? So what's your strategy for financing your projects? Are you looking at new forward funding models? Are you looking to have a treasure chest? Now I would always say that have a treasure chest in the background if you're going for bank finances, just to top up those peaks and troughs, you know, because throughout a project, things can change. But the idea of uh, a project is that, you know, at the beginning, your, your, your profit, the pot of gold, if you like, is at the end. So the name of the game is to get from the beginning to the end, and that means cash flow, cash flow, uh, uh, finance, uh, cash flow planning and management, and also have a contingency and backup pot for those little peaks and troughs. So a little bit of a tip there for you. So this has been Stuart Davidson, your friendly QS. Yeah, please do comment in the list below if you've had any experience recently around bank finance or forward funding finance. There's all different finances models. I would suggest that you know, you get really good advice around that if you're entering into a product project and build your contingency pot for that. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video today and um, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.